Another hobby you might have loved growing up, collecting trading cards of your favorite athletes. In recent years, card collecting has made quite the comeback, growing in popularity every single day, it seems. Well, for two passionate local collectors, they've turned their hobby into a new locally owned and operated shop, and it's right here in Wichita Falls. Josh Hoggard stopped in and spoke with the team over at Cards and Culture, and he joins us now with more on this. Josh. Yeah, Daryl, they've got trading cards, throwback Cowboys and Rangers apparel, even a poster of Kramer from Seinfeld. And that may seem like quite a random assortment of stuff, but it's really all connected to fond memories of simpler times. Nostalgia is a powerful thing. Music, hobbies, and games from childhood resurface in pop culture constantly. So in a way, Wichita Falls' newest store, Cards and Culture, really got going back in the 90s. When I was younger, I collected baseball cards. Just growing up playing baseball, playing all the different sports, my dad would always bring me different packages of cards. So it really started from that. Kellen Ayers said it was during 2020's lockdowns due to COVID that his love for card collecting started to turn into cash. That being another source of income as well, it just really all kind of bundled together and started to work out. But as he dove deeper into collecting, Kellen began to notice how hard they were to find in town. A lot of different places in Wichita Falls don't offer those cards, the specific cards we were looking for. In the same way, Tamara Hungerford started to notice a lack of local spots to expand her collection of vintage apparel. You know, there's not a lot of places in town to find you know, cool vintage tees or even like clothes that we have, like the Supreme, the antisocial. So once Kellen and Tamara put their heads together, the idea of opening their own store started to take shape. We kind of just looked around and thought, well, why not bring something to Wichita Falls like that? And so that's exactly what they did. Cards and Culture officially opened their doors last Monday, offering a selection unlike any other in Texoma. We wanted to have a little bit of everything, the clothes, the vintage, the sneakers, the cards. We've got hobby boxes, we've got autographed jerseys, sports memorabilia, just a little bit of everything. And their first week in business couldn't have gone better. It was really, really great, uh, a lot better than we projected. And uh, we've definitely had, had people intrigued as they drove by or, you know, they've seen posts. And while they're hopefully looking forward to what's next. You know, I can't wait to see how far it gets, you know, the more people that come in and support us and the more we can pour into our business. It's the nostalgia that makes cards and culture a labor of love. It takes you back to the nostalgia of being a kid, you know, ripping your first Pokemon packs as a kid. So it just kind of brings it all back. And as the old expression goes, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. We get to come in here and get to talk about the things that we love, you know, and show our passion for the things that we've collected. It's such a surreal feeling, like I love it. Now Kellen and Tamara are always getting their hands on new cards and clothes, so make sure that you stop by often to find that limited edition rookie card or vintage shirt from your favorite team. You can find Cards and Culture in Crossroads Center on Southwest Parkway. They're open Wednesday through Sunday. Looks like an awesome place, Josh. I cannot wait to check that out myself. Thanks so much for that report.